The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some arrowheads to pads. And this is something that we also do in the stroke panel. So choose view, fit artboard and window so we can see the entire bit of artwork out here. And then click to select the plant path to the left of the swan. I'm talking about this one right here. Press the shift key and click to select the other two plant paths over here to select all three of them. With the path selected, click the word stroke in the properties panel. And in here, you're going to change some options. What we want to do is we can put an arrowhead at the beginning or the end of a path if we want to, or both. We're just going to put it on the ends of these. So choose arrow 13 from right here. And you're going to see it's going to apply it to the ends of each of these paths. Now we want to scale them a little bit. I want them to be a little bit bigger. So you can change the scale to 120%. You can type the value in or use the arrows. That looks a little better. And then click the extend arrow tip beyond end of path. And that'll move them up just a little bit. And then what you can do is you can choose select, whoops, select, deselect. If you want, like I said before, you can zoom in a little bit here to move these around. I'm just using the zoom tool, or so I'm just using the uh, scroll on my uh, mouse button here. Or you can press Command and Plus or Command and Minus. And just zooming in and out a little bit here to move around. And eh, that looks pretty good. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can click on one of these, for instance, press Command and Plus or Control and Plus to zoom into it, and then reposition it where you want it and kind of do the same thing. If I want to zoom out, I'll move that one down a little bit. If I want to zoom out, come on, I can press Command Minus or Control Minus and then click on this one, for instance, and press Command Plus or Control Plus and put that one where I want it. It's a little bit easier. It's hard to do when you're farther away, but... And then to fit everything again, you can choose View, Fit Artboard, and Window. And that looks pretty good. I'll deselect everything by choosing Select, Deselect. That last bit wasn't in the book, but I don't know. I'm a perfectionist, so I want to put them where I want them.